Hola amigos y bienvenido al Cave de Tarantulas. Acabo de pasar dos semanas en Costa Rica y tuve un viaje increíble. Apologies to those of you who don't speak Spanish, but I wanted to introduce this new mini-series for the Tarantula Cave in a slightly different way. Um, because I've just got back from an amazing holiday with my family. We spent two weeks in beautiful, beautiful Costa Rica and um, had the most amazing time. Needless to say, I took a lot of footage of amazing wildlife um, and uh, lots of photos. I spent the last five days basically cutting down from 2,600 photographs to about 775 and that doesn't include video footage at all or any of the photos I took on various phones so that gives you an idea of what we saw and how um, amazing the trip was. Um, why Costa Rica? Well I love that country. Um, when I was doing my undergraduate, my final year dissertation was about hummingbirds and I had an amazing opportunity to go and study hummingbirds for four weeks in the Monteverde Cloud Forest with a friend. Um, we had an amazing time and I fell in love with the country at that point. Uh, then I met my current wife later and we went traveling all around South and Central America for three months and um, again she fell in love with Costa Rica. Uh, when we got married, the theme for our wedding was a Costa Rican theme and our wedding rings have Pura Vida, which is the kind of national greeting of Costa Rica uh, inscribed inside them. That's how much that country means to us. Um, for me, this was my fifth visit and it was all about reconnecting with the country, revisiting the wildlife, taking my son there because it just means a lot that I can share that country with him. Um, because it's so special to our family and I know I'll be going back in the future and I know we're going to be taking him back to do all the activities that he was too young to do this time. Um, yeah, I love Costa Rica so I wanted to share some of this trip with you guys and encourage you to go visit that beautiful country if you're at all interested in wildlife or extreme adventure sports because they do both of those things really really well. Um, but to kick this series off I wanted to start with something suitably um, arachnid based so this is a brief video um, just to show off one of the best true spiders in the country probably the most charismatic well-known species um, that isn't a tarantula and that is Nephila clavipes also known as the banana spider also known as the golden orb weaver so I hope you enjoy this video there will be more coming uh, on a similar theme and yeah stay tuned I think it's pretty clear from the stupid grin on my face in that last photo how excited and awestruck I was to get to interact with such an amazing species. Um, it was very hard not to just find a load of these spiders and put them in my hand luggage and bring them home, but obviously Costa Rica has really, really strict regulation on the export of any wildlife from that country, and too right, because they've got some really good stuff and they should hang on to it and protect it as best they can. Um, yeah, 
fantastic spiders to see in the wild and their webs are insane. You're talking kind of a two meter plus span on their webs and the silk is so, so, so strong. When she was crawling up my arm, you could just really feel it pulling on the hairs and all the rest of it. Um, they can trap hummingbirds in there. They can trap bats in there. Um, obviously they mostly eat insects, but, um, but yeah, a stunning species and so, so, so happy to have seen it in the wild and got to handle it. That was so cool. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.